Unfortunately, Abrahamic ideology attempts to impose a singular truth on a plural world. There is only one true God who will punish you if you are evil. But if you obey his word and follow his order scrupulously, you may save yourself from the hellfires of damnation. When one couples that absolutism with expansionism and uh, proselytizing, then one has all the ingredients for a conflict. Uh, Hinduism is one of the free, uh, one of the few Bronze Age, pre-Bronze Age actually, uh, cultures to have survived to this day. Do you see Zoroastrianism thriving in Iran? What happened to the Mitre cults of Rome? What happened to Ra, Osiris, and Horus of the Egyptians? What happened to Zeus, Apollo, and Athena of the Greeks? What happened to the tribal belief systems and languages of the Aboriginal peoples of Australia? Most pagan belief systems and cultures could not withstand the onslaught of Abrahamic thought, but Hinduism survived against all odds. And that's why I think that it is our duty to preserve that legacy. Now, of course, you cannot hold present day Muslims or Christians responsible for acts of history or the past that they had nothing to do with. Uh, but what is very important is truth and reconciliation. And necessarily truth must come before reconciliation. Truth begins with acknowledging the past. We did not allow that to happen. 